It took just a few hours, unfortunately, for the attack in Las Vegas to split along political lines. Besides calling for gun control in general, several political and media figures responded by specifically vilifying the National Rifle Association. Fox's senior political analyst Britt Hume joins us tonight. Britt, one of the main questions people in Washington, I think, are asking is where's the president going to come out on this? He has said there will be a time to look at gun laws. Any inkling of what that means? Uh, he's pretty committed to the gun owners, and they were clearly you know, very supportive of him. These, these are people who, whose passion gives them sort of political power beyond their, you know, their absolute numbers. And I think he would cross them to his peril. Uh, at his peril, because you know they were, they were he's 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 down with those people now. You know he's he's not an ideologue, and you know how deeply he believes in the Second Amendment is anybody's guess. Yes, but um, he'd be climbing well out on a limb if he were to do that. Do you do you think that's understood at the White House? I don't know the answer to that. I don't you know I mean because he's mercurial as you know he's somewhat unpredictable, but um, I don't see him going there. What, what now? What he could do? Yes. What what he could do would be to reach some kind of a of a deal where he would permit uh, this this you know, this conversion kits and these other measures. You can make a semi-automatic rifle perform much like an automatic rifle. He could. He yes. Could produce, and I'm not even sure how vigorously the NRA would oppose that, if at all. I don't think they would. No. I don't think. I mean, automatic weapons have been basically out of reach for most people yeah. since the 1930s. Right. Yeah, so yeah, 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 special license. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even own one or even have one. Yeah. So what are the? It, I'm struck by the repetitive nature of the arguments you hear on the subject. I'm not even taking sides on it, though right. I passionately am on one side. But as soon as something like this happens, you hear the same voices making the same points, and you wonder who's benefiting from that exactly. Is well, this is you advantage? know we do live in, a, in, a, in an atmosphere in which everybody's everybody's working to appeal to their bases, right? Right, and the bases are hopelessly divided. And think of the viewpoints on this issue. Part of the problem, Tucker, is that the people on both sides of this issue and many others not only disagree with the other side, they don't see how the people on the other side could possibly hold such views. Right. So, for example, you know, you have, you have this, these hideous episodes of gun violence. People say, how can you be against gun control? How can you be against further gun control? Um, this is what America needs. And, it's, and you know, you can, you can take these polls, which will show majorities favor stricter gun laws. Right. Of course, you get down to the particulars, and you know, support melts away. But the, the you know the support for the Second Amendment and Second Amendment rights among people who own guns is unwavering. Yes. So they are. That's a big force multiplier because they will come out and vote against you on that on that only. And meanwhile, the people who are Second Amendment advocates can't imagine how people can look at the history of gun control and where gun control has been applied and where it hasn't, and come to the conclusion that it works. So they think the people on the other side are just liberals who want to regulate everything and everybody. So you so you put people like that in a room together. Where are you going to find common ground? Because they, nobody trusts each other's motives, and that's a huge part of what the divisions in America are about. I mean, if there were ever, I mean, this seems like one of those issues, where if there were ever a legislative attempt to take people's guns away, I mean, that would be... I mean, well, it'd be awfully hard to do in the yes. face of a, uh, of a constant. Now, of course, people think that the Supreme Court decision, which was narrowly decided, that said that you know the right, right to keep and bear arms was an individual right. Heller, yeah. Uh, that that they think that case was wrongly decided. But as long as that is as long as that is the law of the land, is there's, there's no way you could you, no way you could confiscate yep. it. Doesn't seem possible. Right. Brit Hume, thank you for that. You bet.